Singapore is an overnight celebrity among the world's developing countries. It only gained independence in 1965, but it's now the most expensive city to live in on Earth. But hidden amidst today's extravagance is one tiny hamlet that refuses to catch up. Hi, I'm Hidaya, the editor of Coconut Singapore, and we're now at the last kampong in Singapore. A kampong is a rural village with uh, zinc roofs and single-storey houses, and this is the last surviving one. In 1956, a traditional Benson seller, Sung Tiao Kun, bought the land that would become Kampong Lorong Buangkok. In the 60s, there were about 40 families living in the Kampong, but as Singapore became more affluent, the number of residents steadily declined. Within four decades, practically overnight in urbanization terms, almost all of Singapore's Kampongs were demolished and a majority of the population was moved to high-rise apartments built by the Housing and Development Board, or HDB. Today, Buangkok is the last kampong standing. The land is still owned by Sung's four children and there are about 13 houses left in the village. So, we found a, a surau. A surau is sort of a makeshift mosque. Most villages have them because you can't always build a large mosque in a village. In Kampung Lorong Buangkok, it's um, half part Chinese and half part Malay Muslim. So, there's a small surau here called Surau Al Firdaus, which means heaven in Arabic. So the kampong is called Kampong Lorong Buangkok, but in the 60s, it was also nicknamed Kampong Selak Kain, which in Malay means um, sarong lifting. So it's literally the village of the sarong lifters. The people used to wear sarongs a lot, even the men, and every time um, the place was attacked by a flood, uh, they would lift their sarong so they could move around without getting drenched. So I'm wearing a sarong right now. Uh, I can show you how it's done. The sarongs usually come with a slit and even if they don't, you know, they're usually tied so that you can just separate and then you can walk through easily or they'll just lift it this way so you don't get your sarongs wet. Perhaps what's most remarkable about the kampongs is how fast they've disappeared. Just a generation ago, many Singaporeans, like my father, grew up in these villages. Back then, the kampong represented rural poverty, what Singapore was trying to escape from. Today, with the kampong on the brink of extinction, the institution has been transformed into a source of nostalgia. Politicians fetishize the close-knit village life of the past, and my generation treats Wangkok as an attraction, a place to visit on weekends and even a backdrop for wedding photo shoots. While our film crew was at the kampong, we ran into a group of students on a school trip. As the students streamed by, I couldn't help but wonder if this class would be one of the last to see a true Singaporean village. When we walked into Kampong Lorong Buangkok, we saw some construction trucks and these were right up at the entrance of the village. And now on my right is a large construction site and there are at least two bulldozers and they really look like they're coming closer and closer to the village. And behind me, you see um, some high-rise apartments, uh, some of them HDB and some of them luxury condos. And these are right beside um, sort of like a virgin forest, an untouched um, piece of natural land. And these signs of um, redevelopment are closing in on the village, which gives you a sense of how much time the last village in Singapore has left, which is not much. I imagine the residents must know they're probably the last of their kind, but I'm sure they'll hold on to this vestige of old Singapore for as long as they can. Where they live, it is far more relaxed than in the city. At 5 p.m. on a weekday, there was a definite lull in the air, and many had retreated out of the heat into their homes to watch TV. We managed to chat with one resident as she left her front porch to talk to her neighbour. She told us she had been living in the kampong since she was seven and only paid $10 a month for rent. In Singapore, that's more jaw-dropping than a $5,000 cocktail. <laughs> 